Hi, today I'm going to show you the second part to the more concept kind of questions, which is the concentration kind. So with all this, you will help you to really secure any kind of questions on more concept. So remember to watch and learn. And if you like the video, don't forget to click like and don't forget to subscribe. Well, today we're going to continue on with more concept. Now, we left off with having the three steps. Today, my focus is on concentration. When we talk about concentration, actually, the units of concentration is mole per dm cube or gram per dm cube. And I always tell the student, with this in mind, you don't have to remember. Why? Because you just need to follow through. Let me write the mole properly. Follow through using the units to give you the formula. So concentration actually is equals to mole over dm cube or equals to gram over dm cube. Now how do you change from mole per dm cube to gram per dm cube? Uh, the answer is very simple. You just need to multiply by rmm. Then of course the opposite you just need to, yes you are right, we will just divide. We will be coming back to this many times. So let's do a trial of all the different questions. Now, first of all, I have this over here, 2016 paper. They gave you this question. Um, an acid J has a relative molecular mass of 98. 200 cm cube of aqueous sample contain 196 gram of J. Then they say, calculate the concentration of J in gram per dm cube. Let I say, the units will give you the formula. So don't fret. Concentration equals to gram over dm cube. Where is my gram? Where is the mass? Questions state for gram and they gave me 196. So I just need to quickly write down 196 over, this is in dm cube. This, they say uh, 200 cm cube. Well, this is a common uh, trap, but it's very simple because 1 dm cube equals to 1000 cm cube and this is 200 cm cube. So simple mathematics will tell you what. You just need to divide, multiply. And you get a good 0 0.2. So quickly write down 0 0.2. This one's 0 0.2. And there you go. I just need to punch in the calculator and let the calculator do the job. Okay, and I have uh, 198. Sorry, it's 980 gram per dm cube. Very good. Now, next part, they ask you for mole per dm cube. So what should we do? How do I convert from gram per dm cube to mole per dm cube? From here, gram per dm cube to mole per dm cube, gram to mole. Follow the arrow, divide by RMM, RMM given 98. So I just need to use 980 divided by 98. Don't you realize that the number is super perfect? That will give you a good 10 mole per dm cube. I finished the first part. Next, coming up, a similar question as well. They say a 25 cm cube of aqueous solution, that is 5.3 gram of sodium carbonate over here. Calculate the concentration of the solution in gram per dm cube and mole per dm cube. Direct application, do not fret. They gave you the form, the units, the units will give you the formula. Very good. Okay, concentration equals to gram over dm cube. So let's find out the mass. The mass given over here is 5.3. So I write down 5.3, 25 cm cube. Well, it is an easy thing to convert. So by now you should know 1 dm cube equals to 1000 cm cube. 1000 cm cube. I gave you 25 cm cube. Use ratio proportion. Divide, multiply. Hear me say this a couple of times so that it get into you. Divided by 0 0.025. So quickly let your calculator do your work, 5.3 divided by 0 0.025, ta-da, 212 gram per dm cube. Next up, they ask you for the concentration in mole per dm cube. If you're given gram per dm cube, how do you convert to mole per dm cube? Same thing, divided by RMM. This one is sodium carbonate. It's different from just now that question because that question, they gave you the RMM. But is it difficult to find? No. So. What is the RMM of Na2CO3? Use your periodic table, you will get the answer 23 times 2 plus 12 plus 16 times 3. Punch in the calculator, 106. Same thing, remember, you use 212 divided by RMM. So 212 divided by 106. A perfect number of 2. Ta-da, I have finished and calculated this part. 
Now, from now you should realize that I like to look at the units to remind myself of the formula for concentration. So many a times I will write down concentration is equals to gram over dm cubed, or concentration is equals to mole over dm cubed by looking at the units, okay? But the actual way of writing in exam for the actual formula, gram will remind you of mass, so make sure you write down mass. dm cubed will remind you of volume of solution. So same thing, this is mole, I write down mole, and dm cubed is volume. So make sure that you write this down, okay? After you know that, after you look at the units, write this down, this will be the actual formula. Next, coming up, we have a little bit more tougher kind of question. Let's see what they ask. Over here, they say 100 of this indigestion tablet contain in total one mole of carbonate ions. One mole of the tablet, one mole of carbonate, 100 tablets, sorry, 100 tablets, one mole. Then they ask how much, or I should say calculate how many moles, moles, Hydrogen ions are pre present in 500 cm cube of 0 0.08 mole per dm cube. Now you're given the concentration here. So let's follow. Concentration is equal to mole over dm cube. Concentration here is 0 0.08. Do you know the mole? I don't know. But I, I know the volume. Of course, they give you 500 cm cube. By now, you should know 500 divided by 1000, you get 0 0.5 dm cube. 0.5, use simple mathematics, mole multiply up 0 0.08 times 0. Point, this is a 5, huh? so I write down the 5, 5. That will give me a mole of 0 0.04, 0 0.04 mole, 0 0.04 mole. Okay, I gain my two marks. Now they say how many moles of carbonate ions are needed to neutralize the acidic solution over here. Well, because on the first part here, you're supposed to write the ionic equation of this chemical reaction. Now this whole video, we are not focusing on equation, so I'm going to quickly write the equation down. The equation is stated over here. The question says how many moles of carbonate ions carbonate, are needed to neutralize the acidic solution. This is where my three step comes in again. I will underline the two things involved, which is the acidic solution and the carbonate over here. So let's continue on and then because they are talking about mole and mole, I will write down mole and mole. So two moles H plus will react with one mole CO3 2 minus. This is 0 0.04 mole, 0 0.04 mole H plus will react with how much? Okay, this is one, two, and this. So let's go divide and multiply. One divided by two times 0 0.04, that will give you a good 0 0.02 mole 0 0.02 mole okay so i finished this portion just by using the three steps next up they say calculate how many indigestion tablets are needed to neutralize the acidic solution 100 tablets is to one mole of carbonate the question gave me 0 0.02 mole carbonate how much tablets do i have divide multiply I need two tablets, so answer is two. Next up, the last question for today, and this is 2019, which is last year paper. Same thing, they say the molar concentration of a solution of sodium hydroxide, three mole per dm cube. Calculate the mass of sodium hydroxide required to form four dm cube of this solution. Well, they ask you for mass, however, they give you a mole per dm cube. We have learned that if you are given mole per dm cube, how do you change it to mass or gram per dm cube? I just need to multiply by the RMM. And this is none other than sodium hydroxide, which is NaOH. So the RMM of NaOH, let's quickly find it. 23 plus 16 plus 1, I will get a good calculator, do the work. 40. I quickly change this mole per dm cube to gram per dm cube just by multiplying it. So 3 mole per dm cube multiplied by 40, I get a good 120 gram per dm cube. With that, I know the concentration in gram per dm cube. I just need to multiply the volume 
I will find the mass. Concentration equals to gram over dm cubed. Concentration 1 to 0. The mass or the gram, I don't know, but I do know 4 dm cubed. 1 to 0. Multiply by 4. Simple mathematics bring me to 480 gram. Now they say you, the next part or the last part, use your chemical equation from B2. Now by now you should realize that chemical equation is vital to solving more concept. But of course this video is not concentrating on that, so I will quickly write this down for you. From the equation, over here that is written down nicely for you already they say calculate the moles of acid required to neutralize the solution of sodium hydroxide this is acid this is sodium hydroxide so two mole NaOH actually will react with one mole of H2SO4 of course remember the three steps that I do in the previous video if you forget don't fret just go back to the video and recap okay now over here they ask you to calculate the number of mole of acid now over this portion with the volume given and this concentration given I can actually find the number of moles okay then that will give me concentration equals to mole over dm cube concentration here is 3 the mole, I don't know, but I do know my dm cube is 4, so my mole is actually 12. So with this in mind, I know that I have 12 mole of NaOH, so 12 mole NaOH will react with divide, multiply, divide, 1 divided by 2 times 12. That will give me a good 6 mol of H2SO4. So this is 6 mol. Now, then I finish the entire questions. Let's uh, take a track back. Okay, over at this question for this one, I use the changing of mol per dm cube to gram per dm cube to quickly find out the answer. I can actually do a second method, which I will show it over here. Now, sodium hydroxide is 3 mol per dm cube, 4 dm cube. So they ask you for the mass of it. Now, with the mole per dm cube and this, I can actually formulate an equation to find the number of mole. So 3 mole, I don't know, this is 4. So the mole here is 12 mole. Now, knowing that I have 12 mole of NaOH, what is the mass of NaOH required? Since we know 1 mole of NaOH is actually 40, 12 mole of NaOH will actually give me 40 divided by 1 times 12. 40 divided by 1 times 12. I get 480. Ta-da! So both methods will actually lead you to the same answer. So it's really up to you what you want to do. So um, I hope this entire video has, has bring you much understanding. The main deal that I want you to focus on is this portion here. I hope you remember this and find this very useful. Hey, thank you so much for staying through the entire video. I hope that it has uh, benefited you. So stay tuned for more such videos, uh, especially to help you to tackle more paper two kind of questions. Okay, now don't forget to click like if you like the video and subscribe.